there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past T-Shop Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for watching. We're here to check out Motor Racer 4. Yeah, we got some motorcycles. We're going to have some good times. We're going to ride around some dirt. We're going to make some jumps. We're going to make some sick-ass moves, and we're going to have some fun. Uh, Motor Racer 4 demo is available on the PlayStation Network. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in the American PSN store I got this one from. Uh, Motor Racer 4, it's a, it's, it's a title. It's right there. Fourth in the series. I'm not a huge fan, well, not a huge history of playing the motor racer games. My brother actually, ironically, does because he actually does enduro races and rides uh, motorcycles quite a lot. So I've seen this game series in play, and I've seen it's actually, but it's not, it's not bad. But um, I've never actually played it myself. It's uh, I've I enjoyed those uh, uh, MTX versus ATV um, crossover games, the kind of like uh, open space racer ones where you kind of like it's almost like Paris Dakar thing where you have to just get from point A to point B, but it doesn't matter which way you get to it. Meanwhile, I imagine these are a little bit more course-based and much more uh, race-based. Uh, so I'm probably going to get... I'm, I, I think a lot of these uh, motorcycle racing games and, and uh, alternate vehicle racing games, not driving games, specifically uh, simulators like Gran Turismo and stuff, are really fun to play because they let the physics go a little bit off the walls. And I like an arcade racer. I always have. I prefer an arcade racer. I don't like realism racers because if i want to do that i would get into a car if i want to actually ride around a corner sideways at 400 miles an hour then i'll play wipeout <laughs> or ridge racer which has a, a big propensity to do that as well uh i'm kind of what was the last driving game i actually sat down to play probably was ridge racer type 4 for, for retro kid on the channel i don't think i've actually played one since no not really so let's take a look we got a quick game going let's check it out Armed to win when you play in online in quick battle mode or quick game mode. The motorcycles you see are used the same as those in career mode. That means you can shoot and unlock as many upgrades and riding techniques as you can in career mode. So that you can use them to win here. So, race to win. <laughs> Alright, single race. Uh, crossing lines, we've got one available. Oh, wait, hang on. We've got, of course, either we've got dirt or asphalt. We've got one of each. Awesome. Should we go dirt first? I want to... Nah, we'll go asphalt first. We'll do asphalt and then we'll actually do uh, number of laps. Shit, um, imagine one. Ah, oh, shit, you know, we, we are turning that the fuck up. We're going for a full-on multiple racers kind of game. Level of AI, eh, intermediate's fine. Um, we got our two choices of racers. Oh, <gasps> she's got kitty ears! I want that vehicle! Um, Science of Wicklinchens is but the ruin of the soul. Bolt, Mitch Taylor. Uh, so we got two different types. We got... Pretty all-rounder, except for acceleration. I want a, I want high acceleration if I happen to crash. Max speed, uh, but I want the handling. Acceleration and handling would be what I want. In fact, that's what it is for that I want. We'll go with this dude, because he seems to be the best all-rounder to go with. Um, what's the colors? Okay. Uh, I'm liking the color schemes, actually. Foghorn! <laughs> That's what that is our winner. So uh your turbo module? I don't know, I'll turn that up a wee touch. I don't know what it means, but I'll give it a try. Single race, win the race. I've always loved customizing the looks of my glorious destroy I, I swear to god I thought that said derriere. My glorious derriere! When I get the creative urge, I go to the paddock and give give free rein to my imagination. You do use the word paddock whenever you're talking about horse racing as well. And he was talking about glorious derrieres. He's Mr. Hands! If you don't get that reference, don't ever look it up. Alright, so what we got to check out here? Ever racing. Hey, this is This is This is gorgeous, actually. I like it. Look at the Oh, <laughs> God, when he was raised by 
physics it looks like it's there to have fun and race although i don't feel the actual speed quite as much in this game it, i'm reacting to it but i'm not really you know feeling the boost other than whenever i'm actually hitting the turbo so maybe maybe something that's going to have more jumps i can actually see i can see a jump in this that's going to be interesting but um something that actually is a little bit more jumpy and action based rather than the street racing will give us a better feel for the game Let's give this a quick try. Well, we're going to keep it with nine racers. We got, we got it. I'm going to keep. Oh, oh, oh! It's, the color scheme is glorious. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, I give myself a power. Uh, so it's a same power boost, but it's actually giving me a higher chance of hitting it. That's why I think it is. I have to get it within the gap, which I, I, could, I could reasonably do. The last time, it's just the fact that uh, I was more focused on the fact that I'm going to hit a wall 70% of the time. Oop. Give that screen a touch to make sure it doesn't die off of me. My old my old man hates it when I do that, but come on, dirt bikes tricks are the bomb. Dead body, salto, whip. Bring on the style point. Yeah! Okay, wrench. You sound like you really enjoy throwing yourself through the air. In depth defying matters. Enjoy. Rams, rams, rams everywhere. Not too bad. Take a second. Oh, 
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright, alright, alright. That was respectful. That, that felt really respectful. Uh, yeah. See, that was quite enjoyable. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Style comes naturally to me, you know? Others have to work hard at doing fancy tricks like wheelies or jumps. Well, that's because you have kitty ears! Look at the kitty ears on Stella! Um, so yeah, guys, that's actually, that was pretty goddamn fun. Uh, Moto, uh, what? So we got a Moto Racer for. Obviously, there's multiple tracks. Ultimately, there's multiple vehicles to travel around with. It's arcadey motorbike racing fun and goodness. And uh, I'd recommend giving this a try. At least try the demo. See how the feel of the mechanics of the vehicles uh, get to you. Obviously, they're showing that you can do stunts and stuff, but I like I they didn't give me a kind of like basic chance to actually understand how to apply those while I was racing there. I'm sure with a little bit more time, I could have gone through, got much more style points for it, but that was still enjoyable as a basic arcade racer. I, I miss those. I, I think we we need more arcade races in our lives. There's le less Gran Turismo's, more. Uh, for Forza Horizons or Wipeout. Obviously, we got a remaster of that recently. Um, not kart racers, though. Kart racers are actually completely different. They almost have like a battler feel to it, which is um, still a cool thing all to itself. But yeah, um, I enjoyed that. Good arcade racer. The only thing I was missing from it in the road race was being able to kick somebody next to me. That's what I wanted. I wanted Road Rash. Why the hell is Road Rash not a series anymore? Why have we done, like, we never got so close to being able to show the gore and violence of punching people off motorcycles at high speeds, we decided, nah, we don't want that anymore. There's obviously, there's that game that's on PC that's been floating around, which I wouldn't mind giving a try and throwing on, which is uh, the long road races where you actually have people dropping in, dropping out, and it is that road rash, kind of like, get the fuck off my bike, kind of stuff. So this kind of fits in that gap in between before that and beyond your traditional kind of racer so guys um yeah hope you actually enjoyed watching this with me i hope you've actually found a game that you might check out for yourself and if you enjoyed it make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there on the side or down there what's well, usually in different places but if you don't do the subscribe thing completely understand it's okay not everybody does but what i will ask you to do is remember the name past each of skin you found me enough to be able to actually get here and send me messages and be able to actually stay in the chat and actually enjoy this live stream whenever I record these so uh yeah it's easy to find me I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. Just check it out. That's the of skin. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button that pops up there that you can press. There'll be a box right here with a playlist. Over the far side, way over there, will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here next to me will be a video just for you based on YouTube analytics and the things that you search for and the things that you like to see. You can easily pick on that and it'll keep you entertained because it's one that's going to be the best one for you. And um, it's a video I made, so it's not too bad. <laughs> So guys, I hope you actually check it out, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!